How's it, guys? All right, so we're ready to start layering up the um, polystyrene plugs with fiberglass. We need to do a whole host of things to make sure that we're ready for this stage. So the first thing we're going to do is start making up the vacuum bags to make sure that we've got uh, the right size. And then we're going to start layering up the dry cloth, cut out the sections, then layer up those dry cloths with some resin, put the peel plow over that and throw that into a vacuum bag. So, wish us luck. So this is the first one we're going to start with. Start small and work our way up from there. Got our resin ready. We've got a little station ready here uh, with everything we need. And, um, yep, let's see how it goes. run that tacky tape we've worked at it as much as we can pushed it in and um, Caleb has decided he wants to make sure that it fits so he's gonna do our first test hmm. so you gonna fit Yeah, so we've got space on that side. Let's check if we've got space on this side. So this vacuum bag goes flush over there. Hold it there. So we're going to have more than enough. So, well done, Caleb. Now we have to do the other side. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ariella. Hello, All right, so Ariella is now going to help me uh, do the layup of the fiberglass. <laughs> Are you excited? Mm -hmm. All right. So guys, here is the fiberglass that we'll be using. Um, you know, we buy almost everything from AMT. They're definitely the biggest supplier of composite and fabric materials in South Africa and in Africa. Um, and you can see here is our medium hardener. And uh, there's our resin. Okay, so we've got our sample piece here that we're going to be working with. And we're going to be draping this piece over. It's exactly the same weave and grammage. And so we'll be using that now to just kind of uh, jig up the, the front nose. And get the front nose correct. And then we'll take it from there. Wish us luck.
fiberglass draping as best as we can and uh, we're going to now cut out some of the peel ply and that will give us a, you know fairly smooth finish it also smooth out these little areas here that are connecting into each other so all these little frays will be kind of compacted and smooth into it so we should have very little finishing work So what I've done now is I've taken the fiberglass, um, cured fiberglass plug, I've applied the filler on it and I've given it a sand, applied another filler, given it a sand and put it in my little spray booth. I'm now going to do one more sand on this with a 400 and then a 600. Then I'm going to put the 2K primer on it, give it another sand, primer again, and then a 2K final coat. And then we're ready for the mold. Always like working with a little regulator, plus I've got a water filter on the actual compressor. Really good quality um, 2K primer and um, I like using this primer because it's got quite a good fill rate. So all the little pinholes, all the issues, by the time I've laid this uh, primer on I'll be able to get most of those little pinholes filled up.
pinholes everywhere. Not everywhere, but um, if we get close there, you can see there. So um, still wet, needs to dry up now, and um, we'll do the final sanding and the final fill, and that is a new front nose coat.